Oh, hey, you guys are there. Uh, I was uh, getting a lot of work done because that's actually not true. But this is number three. Uh, I'm not going to call it a vlog because she'll make fun of me. She's over here with her shoulder hanging out of her shirt because that's what girls do now. But uh, yeah, uh, she was like, why are you calling it vlog? And I'm like, well, it's called a vlog because it's like of stuff I'm doing, but not actually getting things done because has anyone watched a vlog where people actually get stuff done? And I really don't think you guys want to watch me go to the gym. So here's what I'm going to do. Well, I'm going to put mascara on. No, it's not a get a ready with me either. So we've got some new stuff. I'm going to show you some new stuff. Uh, let's get right into it. This is not a battery holder. It's a tool holder. Uh, this would be a perfect example because this thing gets hot. Caution, hot. So you mount this to the wall, slide the tool on, it can hold it up. Pulls off pretty easy. All right, other stuff we've been working on, you've seen a couple posts possibly, if you guys follow me on Instagram, at the Jacobal. The Thick Packout, which everyone found that deal where Home Depot will price match, uh, what is it, Ace hardware? The Thick Packouts. There are the uh, nesting cups out for it that can go into the bins. But now, and this is one of our designs, this is a three-way replacement bin. So this can take the place anywhere in here, as long as you don't have screws sticking out of your bin a million and a half times. That's right, you can't put this there. Boom. So there you have a bin that can fit anywhere in here. It can also fit in that pack out, no problem. Couple people have asked. Let's see, black does. Oh, that's nice. Just ripped my shirt. Black doesn't show up quite great, but what you can see is it's got three divided bins. Uh, we are looking at some options for drill bits to go this way, uh, but for now, this is sort of where we're at. The other thing we've worked on. I know this is red, but it's not the right shade. Versa stack, T stack, Craftsman, Dewalt. We've got a couple different options for this. Look, this doesn't open all the way like Milwaukee, and I will tell you that this thing is generally just cheaper. But a lot of you have asked for it, so we made them. The small. There's a two-way cup for it. There you can see it, right? Oh wait, I'll do it like the beauty vlogs. Yeah, here we go. Look, look, she's over there. Like you gotta put the hand behind it. So. That goes in there. Also have, for the larger, a four-way. Put your hand behind it. Put your hand behind it, there's name. Okay. Goes in there. And a lot of people of you have said, a lot of people of you, of you a, lot of, a lot of you, right? That fits those little dovetail joints, right? So versus stack, a bunch of the... Uh, DeWalt and Craftsman. I think I've even seen some of the, I'm trying to think of the brand. I'll remember later, I'm sure. Uh, bit holders that can go in there. And uh, in case you didn't know, this is a design from Benjamin Johnson, AKA Electron Smith, Benjamin Johnson on Thingiverse. It's a website where you guys can get these 3D files. Uh, this just fits into the top, just like the rest of those. And then you can put your parts underneath it and your bits above it. Uh, speaking of parts underneath it, Hold on, here we go. Dremel holders. This is actually what we use personally to store our Dremels because uh, we make so many of them, like these guys. These are the for the sanding drums. Oh wait, oh, here we go. Here you can see it. All right, so you have to have a place to keep them. So I know it's not Milwaukee, uh, but it works and they work really well. I uh, I used to love the Craftsman stuff, but I can honestly tell you after picking this thing up and honestly how cheap it costs and how cheap this stuff feels, uh, it's not my favorite, but if you're looking for a lower price point and you need the organization with the help of uh, Benjamin Johnson, AKA Electron Smith, this stuff works out really darn well. So something else. Uh, we weren't doing these until recently. 
Do you want to start over then? No, it's fine. Go ahead. No, she's always got something to say. So this is this acts like it's live, but she's just over there like. I'm a director. So uh, yes. So what she's pointing out is that uh, a lot of you have posted some of the bins that you might have got from us with various different options. And one of the ones that really caught my eye, and I had to obviously get the stuff myself, was this one with the socket adapters. And these things are pretty sweet. They let you put some of these Milwaukee sockets. I guess you could put anything as long as it was the same size. But now you can put a Milwaukee socket inside of this packout bin uh, that this is actually a Benjamin Johnson uh, Electron Smith design as well. So I had to go out and buy one of these because I don't, I don't have these. Uh, I would love to have them. Wink, wink, Electron Smith, if you want. I'll send you some of these, and you don't even have to send them back if you just want to use them to copy the design uh, that Milwaukee did. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and rip all these out and build myself one of these little socket setups. Uh, speaking of socket setups, Say you want to take one of these and hang them, right, from the wall, but you don't want to buy the expensive packout bracket, you can get these. This is just, hold on, wait. This is a 3D printed, yep, 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 here it is, bracket that you can literally screw to almost anything, and just like that, you can hold almost anything packout related. And speaking of anything packout related, take a look at this. Come on, follow me. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. So, what I did was I was just messing around, right? This is my pack out workbench if you guys have or haven't seen. So, if you look at that, I was looking at that and said, that's got to be the same the way that thing attaches to the bracket. Right? So, just put two of those on this. Boom. Now, I've got a place that I could easily take. Come here. And you could put a dog in. Yeah, maybe you probably could put a dog in. Sorry. So, that was an idea. Uh, I thought about it. And when I came out here tonight to sort of set up for this video, I wanted to try this out. And it worked pretty well. So, if you guys want to, those are already. Actually, are those available on our store? Yeah. Yeah, That's they're on our store, store.jigall.com. Uh, so, you can get those now. You just need two if you're trying to do this bin. If you're doing the half size packouts like I showed, the low profiles, or even the half size standard profile, I would say you get two, and then you can get a latch if you're trying to mount it in a position to where you're afraid it's gonna slide off this way. If you're using gravity, it's not, you don't need any. If you're doing a full size packout, you probably want four. Uh, but behind me, right, it's time, I'm, I'm late. So here we got some stuff, right, you guys? are probably wanting to see this, so I'm throwing that in this video. Uh, I've been slacking, I've been sick, I'm sorry. I can't, you know, control it. I mean, I guess I can if I took better care of myself. Wow, gosh, look how gray I am. Okay, so. He took his medication. Yeah, 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 medication. So, giveaways, let's do this, right? You guys wanna see this? So what I got, we got three giveaways, is three? We have three giveaways. So we're gonna have three winners, and we're doing them all in this video. So we're gonna set up over here. So what, what gets you a win? Well, come on, Iron Man. All right, so what's gonna get you a win, right? A lot of you guessed pretty well. Uh, some of you were overachievers, and I, I must have said hole a lot more than I thought, but this is what you needed to guess. The whole magnum, or the holster, excuse me, wait, what did it say here? Hold on, let's do this. Yep, the holster. A whole lot of bins and the Kaizen holster. That's the uh, Kaizen foam thing that cuts. So when you're making your uh, pack out foam cases, you've got something. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do a little random thing. If you guys did what I said and you commented and you guessed and you're subscribed, you'll be a winner. So I'm gonna take this laptop here and I am going to click this little random comment thing. Let's 
65 of you. All right. I know I should have like, okay, let's see. I thought I was already subscribed, da da da, wrong account, oh boo, all right, so next. Try it again. I should have like pack outs that I'm doing this on. Kaizen, Magnum, finger hole, whole lot of bones, drill a lot of holes for, rivets for, C10, uh, can fit, get your whole impact. Yeah, I think you got at least three, and they were at least the right three. So this is Russ Evelyn, and I will even show it here. Come on. Russ. Awesome. All right, so you're number one. So I will, on this video, I will comment your name, find this video, comment which item you're interested in. We've got the hat and the glasses. We've got the gloves and the pouch, and we have the Kaizen not the Kaizen, sorry, the Packable Cord Cobra. So, you get first choice. You get first choice. Next video, next winner. <coughs> All right, Kaizen holster, Magnum holster. Got a whole lot of bands. Art, Carl, Kark, Karkman. You say it, come on. Crawlman? Crawlman! Yeah! English is fundamental. Yes, you're number two. All right. There's nothing wrong with number two. And the last winner is? Yes, this is the last one. Oh, oh hey, what's that, Mac? It says I have a virus because I have a Mac. All right. Kaizen holster, Milwaukee holster. Mil I don't know what a Milwaukee holster is. Uh, yeah, I do. And a whole lot of your C10, whole lot of bins, great videos. This is Warren Graham. Honestly, if this was Warren G, that would be awesome. But Warren Graham, you're the last winner. You're the third winner. So again, we've got three prizes. Oh, you want to see it? Yeah. Well, you think I'm faking this? Oh, I want it. I won the prize because I need the anti foam glasses. Come on. Woo Warren G. I mean, Warren Graham. <laughs> All right. So. You three, the first one, what's his first name? Russ. Russ. Comment which one you would like. Then? Art. Art. Comment which one you'd like. If you guys can all agree, that'd be great. But Russ, you get the first choice. Art gets second. Art gets second. Warren gets third. Warren gets third. And go ahead, comment the order you'd like them. That way we can try to make you all happy. I will <laughs> comment your names below. <laughs> Um, no, I won't. Oh, I'm going to make you guys watch it. That's right. I'm going to make you guys watch this video. So if you don't respond, then I'm just going to move on to four, five, and six. Uh, I appreciate y'all watching and subscribing. Share my stuff as much as you can. Uh, I'm trying to become the next Casey Neistat because you can tell that I, I have a great nose for that. Uh, but what the heck is that? Yeah, she's writing me notes over here. This video is just right. Go out. to store.jacoball.com. Oh, yeah, she's telling me to go to the website, right? Well, that's what it's for. Uh, no, it's not really for that. I actually enjoy entertaining you guys, and I appreciate all of the great feedback that we've gotten from you all. Uh, shout out to Electron Smith, a.k.a. Benjamin Johnson on Thingiverse. Look him up if you guys have your own 3D printer. Uh, shout out to Packable Tool for helping sponsor with this. Oh, yes, and we have to shout out to... Ohio Power Tool. Julia, grab me some Ohio Power Tool stickers. Uh, quick, quick, quick. Right Ohio Power Tool. Come here. Come here. This kid raised like $350 for Ohio's Pelotonia uh, selling baked goods. So, whoop, whoop, come on. That's right. But Pelotonia is pretty awesome. But Ohio Power Tool gave us some great goodies to go in with this giveaway. So, I appreciate you guys as well. Uh, check them out. I have an affiliate link that I post in my videos. And... If you have any questions about bins or anything else, uh, send them my way. And uh, as always, I don't actually have funny things that I say. Wait, do I? No? No. Back out!